to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. This block I call Scrappy Herringbone. It finishes at 12 inches. Here is the block and here is what the quilt looks like with all the blocks set block to block. This is 35 blocks set 5 across and 7 down. I have another video and more instructions for a different kind of herringbone quilt that uses just 5 inch half square triangles and you can scan or click on this code to find that video. There are only two patches and if you'd like to make patches with the AccuQuilt, here are the dies that will make both of these patches. Patch A is a 3 inch finished half square triangle. We cut 3 and 7 8 inch squares and cut them in half once on the diagonal for two patches. We'll need 8 assorted patches of the accent fabric and 8 patches of the background fabric. Since this is a scrappy quilt, if you make a scrappy quilt, you might want to do the half square triangles eight at a time. That will go much faster. So if you do that, then it tells you what size. You'll cut squares at seven and three quarter inches for the exact size, or cut squares eight inches, and trim your final half square triangles to three and a half inches. And of course, if you're using AccuQuilt, you are, are doing patches. For this video, I've cut patches so I can have an assortment of patches and make it more scrappy, but if I were doing an entire quilt, I would use the half square triangles eight at a time. Patch B is a three inch finished square and we cut three and a half inch squares. We'll need four assorted squares of the accent fabric and four squares of the background fabric. And we're just going to piece the half square triangles then we'll take the half square triangles and squares and put them together and assemble the block. Down here I have instructions for the 60 by 84 sample quilt over here. And this is using the eight at a time half square triangle method. Assorted accent fabrics, you'll need a total of three and a half yards or 18 fat quarters or 35 layer cake squares. So you have a lot of options here. And here this tells you how many to cut of patch A and how many to cut of patch B. Same thing with the background, you'll need three and a half yards and either 18 fat quarters or 35 layer cake squares. It's exactly the same cutting for each one. And then the binding, you'll need eight strips at two and a half inches. Here are the fabrics I've chosen and I've chosen an assortment. I am going to stitch these half square triangles together in the patches and to do that we just put the, tri the half square triangles together like this, fold it over, match all three sides, stitch along the long line and press the seams open. And with this you'll have little nubs to cut off afterward. But if you're not familiar with the eight at a time half square triangle method, stay tuned for a short tutorial that shows you how. Eight at a time half square triangles. We take our two squares and place them right sides together and put the light fabric on top. We're going to draw two diagonals across this on the light side. Next I'll go to the sewing machine and on either side of this drawn line, I'm going to stitch a quarter of an inch. So a quarter of an inch on this side, quarter of an inch on this side. Turn it around and do the same thing over here. Quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch. I have stitched on either side of the drawn line, and you can't really see on either one of these. So there, there are two lines of stitching going this way and going this way. And the drawn line is right in the middle of them. Let's turn it over. What we're going to do next is cut it in half horizontally and vertically first. Then we're going to cut along both of the drawn lines. That will get us our eight half square triangles. I'm using a rotating cutting mat because it allows the fabric to stay in place while I move the ruler around, so I just move the, the mat. If you don't have a rotating cutting mat, use the smallest mat you need 
so you can actually turn the mat and not, not have to pick up the fabric. So we're going to take right down the middle, half. I line up one of the lines down here on the side and then I'm going I'm matching it right here at the intersection and cut. Now pick up the ruler without moving the fabric and do the same thing here. Find a line on one one of the edges to line up your fabric and then put the edge right at the center and cut. So we have four pieces now. Now we're going to do the first diagonal cut on this strong line as well. Now we pull these apart and we have our eight half square triangles. And then we'll just press these open and we'll have nubs to cut off on each corner. Then I just take my rotary cutter and trim off these nubs. They're on either side of the diagonal. Now some people prefer to cut their squares bigger than is needed so they can trim down the half square triangle later. I prefer to cut it the right size and just sew the scant quarter inch. So if, you, if it is a little bit bigger, then you can always trim off if you need to. So that's the half square triangles eight at a time. Our half square triangles are pieced and pressed. Now we just take out the profit board, lay out the pieces according to the diagram. Now we start at the top and sew these units into row one, row two, row three, and row four. Press all of your seams open, then sew all the rows together and your block will be finished. Here's the block finished. The block doesn't look like much on its own, but when you put them with other blocks into a quilt, then it looks really neat to have these scrappy herring bones. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.